Hello, everybody. How are you? So here you go. Part two of the unheard Eddie Van Halen audio series. You may have the audio book, and I hope you do, but you don't have what you're about to hear. This will blow you away. I think you guys will really love this second part. You guys seem to really dig part one. So here you go. Part two, unheard Eddie Van Halen audio. Enjoy, everybody. All right, so we're going to go into part two now. Um, I'm just going to play a little bit of the intro just to set everyone up, get the feel for the day. So here we are in uh, September 1985, sitting in your, your room, and here's what Ed has to say. But we got a lot of tunes. Really? Yeah. Play, can you play something for me? Yeah. 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 Like that. Like that. Yeah. Like that. All right. So, Ed's over there talking about, hey, you know, I've got a lot of tunes, and you can hear him. He's just about to jump on the keyboard and play something. Um, yeah. So, you want to know a little bit more about what's happening coming up to this? Exactly. So, so everybody needs to understand that this is the same night that Edward just happened to pop over. Uh, you, you know, I'm working with my buddy, Ron. We're just working on some of my music, uh, stuff that Ron has written as well. You know, he's he was my co-writer. And um, again, there's this knock at the door and it's Edward Van Halen. And, you know, who knows? He was bored. He wa uh, You know, so he just came over. And uh, so part one, you heard Edward just sort of, you know, hearing this this little song that I'd written with Ron and you know, it, it was amazing. So we kind of got done with that. And we just came up to this little part uh, that Adam played. So, so Edward says, uh, uh, yeah, we have a lot of songs. And what he's talking about is what is going to be the 5150 record. Yeah. So yeah, so, so, so Edward's saying, yeah, man, you know, I have all these ideas. And then he uh, sort of uh, instructs Ron to maybe start playing some stuff. Yep. So uh, let's, uh, let's proceed from there, Adam. Okay, so this is where, yeah, so like you said, Ed asks if the keyboard's on, so he jumps on the keyboard just to show Ron something. And this is a little idea that uh, Ed would have had. <laughs> you know, love walks in. Oh man, <laughs> love walks in, and for anybody who didn't recognize it, you know, you you, you don't deserve to listen to the rest of this podcast. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, so yeah, so he plays that, and you know, so again, we're in September '85. No one knows what that is. Yeah. Um, I, I I truly believe that this is the first time he's ever ever played that song for anybody. Mm. Um, you know, maybe he and Al have messed around with it, you know. So Sammy's in the band and, you know, Edward's working on this song. And um, there's no doubt in my mind that he has written this song uh, around this new singer, uh, Sammy Hagar, right? Yep. So he's thinking about how Sammy um, is going to approach this song and, and, and what Sammy could bring to it. And yeah, man, you hear those little lines and, and I mean, that's, that's the whole, that's the main motif of the song, right? Da, 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 da. I mean, <laughs> it's just so freaking great, you know? Yeah. I mean, and you can almost hear the kinds of guitar parts he's going to put over it. March comes around and, and I, I hear the 5150 record and I hear that song and I go, oh my God. I remember the first time I heard it, I go, oh my God. <laughs> you know, that it, it's like, I don't know, man. It's like this reverse thing where, you know, you're given like the secret Yep. You know, eight months before, and then you hear it, you go, "Oh my God, that's <laughs> it! That's what he was playing. That's what he was trying to get, you know, to get my friend Ron to play and stuff." So, yeah. um, but here, you know, you hear Edward talking about it, and you hear him playing those keyboard parts. Again, yeah. I think it just brings you so much deeper 
uh, into that experience and, and yeah. everything that happened that night, right? All right, so the next part comes up here. No, of course, yeah, I want you to go. Just a little sample. All right, so this is where he's um, explaining to Ron what to do. Just saying that get those bass notes going while Ed's going to grab the guitar and do something else. So here Edward is kind of, you know, showing him on the fly these keyboard parts. And, and yeah, the, the, the chords themselves probably aren't too difficult, but, but for Ron to kind of absorb all that in the moment, <laughs> remember what Edward is showing up. Remember, this is Edward Van Halen, yeah. you know, breathing over your shoulder saying, hey, man, just play these chords. Edward's way of saying, hey, man, I, I think you're a good keyboard player. Now play this. Right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, this might be all keyboard. To an A. To an A. Do, do, the left, do the left hand. C, E, A, F, G. when Ed starts playing the guitar. Just a little bella thing. <laughs> so yeah, so you can hear him say to Ron, yeah, just try and get the chord straight. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. He's trying to trying to make it a little easier for Ron. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. <laughs> That's Edward Van Halen. Yeah, right. I, I, you know, and then and then the way he kind of you know mutes a couple of those notes. You know, he mutes notes. You know, like like nobody else ever did. Yeah. Yeah. 
that was real. I gotta dig it because uh, it's just so so neat to be able to do different things with Sammy. Yeah. He hasn't seen a shit out of anything, man. <laughs> there you go. Talk about Sammy. <laughs> yeah. You know, heavy fucking. Mm -hmm. So I think this is Ed back on the, the keyboards again. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> Lovely. So, do you mind? <laughs> it's like, yeah, do you mind me writing a song with you guys? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> he was unbelievable. Yeah, like he was like, yeah, taking up too much of the space, you know, too much of the air in the room, you know, do you, do you mind? <laughs> who, el who, who else would say that? <laughs> So the, the drums would do the downbeat. So you go talking about the drums, doing the thing there. <laughs> now, yeah. the, now the next part is just really cool. He talks about the bass parts. Um, the way he does the bass, yeah, I love it. Yeah, you know, like uh, the bass would just go one, two, three, four. <clears throat> parts and then you know goes to put them together with the bass and the other part Amazing. exactly i mean that's uh wow that's unbelievable i mean honestly i i i've forgotten some of this <laughs> to be honest with you um yeah so again him hearing everything i said yeah the drums are playing dun, 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 it's straight right, so the drums aren't hitting those accents and then that bass kind of fills in those holes with the keyboard you know kind of opens up and uh I think he was pretty exacting about it. I think what he's hearing here would certainly be refined over the months by the time they go to the record. I mean, he knows exactly what it is. I, I, I don't think he allowed anything to uh, be kind of uh, happenstance or unintentional. I, I, I think he heard every drum beat. And I think if Al did something and it, it wasn't right, I think he'd say, no, I'm hearing this. Yeah. You know, um, uh, Mike, no, Mike, you know, it's don't. No, uh, whatever that was. So there, so from here it goes into another section, which we'll get into in part three, where it's another idea of uh, Ed's, and um, I must say there's some great playing. You can hear it goes, goes back to the guitar. There's some more ideas on there. But it was a magic night, man. It, it was one of it was one of the best times I ever had with him. Yeah, it was just amazing. Now, would you Incredible. say because Ron was there with the keyboard, would would this be the first time that you have sat down? With Edward, with a keyboard during your interviews. That's an excellent question. It it was. Okay. It was. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. In fact, I think that's the only time. Only time oh. he ever was playing a keyboard. Uh, you know, we jammed a couple yeah. times. Yeah, he, he would always play bass. Yeah, you know, yeah. I play guitar. Um, yeah. But but yeah yeah no he never. Um, yeah, he never sat down at a keyboard, hmm. uh, you know, and, and I would I would just play guitar. Um, interesting, cool. actually. Because, yeah, I mean, he always had keyboards. Uh, you know, obviously, he had keyboards all over the place at 5150. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I, I, I would never have a keyboard uh, at the house. Uh, 
but no, that was, yeah, that was the only time. Well, um, interesting. This really shows your friendship as well with Edward. I mean, I know you're a journalist as well, you know, did all the interviews with him, but you know, I couldn't picture Edward going to these other journalists' house, just popping up, hey, come in, have a jam, you know? <laughs> so it just really shows the connection you guys have. Exactly, exactly, you know, and um, yeah, so yeah, so that night it wasn't Steve Rosen journalist, right? It was Steve Rosen buddy, Steve Rosen bad guitar player friend, you know what I mean? Yeah, it was just, you know, nowhere in his mind was it, uh, oh, Steve's going to record this and I got to watch what I, you know, or yeah, yeah, it was none of that. So what you're hearing here, what you heard in part one and what you're going to hear in part three are not in the audio book, yeah. but there is so much. Well, everything that you've read in the hardback is there in the audio book. And, and again, if you dug the, the hardback, the audio book just, just for me, it just, it just goes a, a, a level deeper because you're hearing his voice yeah. and, um, you, you know, you're hearing all these parts, you know, his noodling where I'm just trying to describe them in words. I mean, you're hearing these parts. Um, and, yeah, you know, in the book I'm I'm describing uh, this night that we're talking about here, but here you can hear Edward, you know, and in the audio book you can hear those conversations. Um, yeah, if, if if you don't have the audio book, honestly, I, I I just think you're missing a a big piece of the of the, of, of the Edward Van Halen legacy. Yeah. Um, and I'm not trying to sell anybody an audio book, but but um, I, I I just think it's a, it's a real historic document and um i think you guys would love it so yeah check it out that's it <laughs> all right we'll leave it there for this part but thanks again everyone we'll see you in part three see you everybody